Estonian intelligence revealed reasons for Russia's offensive in Kharkiv region. The activity of the Russian armed forces in the Kharkiv region indicates the creation of a buffer zone rather than the intention to capture Kharkiv, according to the Estonian Defense Forces Intelligence Center, Ants Kiviselg. According to him, the Russian forces are advancing in the recently opened Kharkiv direction, but their pace is slowing down. This and the nature of the actions of the Russian armed forces rather indicate a desire to create a buffer zone, Kiviselg said. He also noted that Russian troops have attacked and destroyed important bridges in the vicinity of Vovchansk, which creates a natural barrier between Ukrainian troops and the Russian army. The Estonian intelligence chief clarified that Russia's actions in the region indicate its intention to build a defense line, not to create a foothold for advancing on Kharkiv. According to Kiviselg, Russian armed forces units have penetrated up to eight kilometers deep, a zone within reach of Russian artillery. The military emphasized that this is the reason why Ukraine could not build a defense system closer than 10 to 20 kilometers from the border and build strong fortifications within three to five kilometers from it. Kiviselg said that the north grouping of troops is operating in the Kharkiv direction with the aim of hindering the advance of Ukrainian reserve forces and supporting its offensive in the Donetsk direction. About 2,000 people are involved in direct combat in the Kharkiv direction. Another 1,500 to 2,000 fighters are in reserve. In total, about 35,000 servicemen of the Russian armed forces are concentrated in the area and the grouping is likely to increase in the near future, he said. At the same time, the Estonian intelligence chief does not think that Russia will be able to concentrate 300,000 people in this direction, which, according to various estimates, is the minimum required number of troops to capture Kharkiv. The Russian forces have recently launched an offensive in the north of the Kharkiv region and managed to capture several settlements. However, Ukrainian troops are holding back the advance. Today, Vladimir Putin spoke about the Russian offensive in the Kharkiv region. He explained that Moscow wanted to create a sanitary zone. Короче, не кончается уже больше 80 штук. И вот это вот все летит, вот эта вся нечисть летит в сторону элеватора, в сторону порта, короче, побережья туда, на терминалы гахают там, блядь, и ПВО работает. Короче, жесть, вот они подряд идут, суки. Просто, просто мрак какой-то, вот он, козел. И он следом еще один, три подряд. Вот они летят, они не переставая, рой летит и все. Вот за минувшие минут 15 уже штук 20 пролетело. Это просто мрак какой-то. ПО работает. Короче, можно сказать, не работает от слова совсем. Блять! Нихуя себе! Все, пиздец! Машины там стоят. Он, он вот прям сюда вот ебал, вот в эту. Поехали на Пиздец!